Thank you for joining us today to gain more information about the dual enrollment program with Clayton State University. As we go through this presentation, if you have questions, you can always go to our website at www.clayton.edu and we also will have contact information on the last slide. Some of the basic things about dual enrollment. Dual enrollment is an opportunity for high school students to earn college credit while they're in high school. So it's a jump start on your college education. Any grades that are earned at the college will also be on your high school transcript. So it's taking one class, but you will get credit at both places. There is a cap on how many semester hours you can take, and so it's 30 semester hours, which for Clayton State University is the equivalent of about 10 classes. The good thing about dual enrollment is the funding hours don't count against your HOPE scholarship hours. One thing to keep in mind, students must maintain a 2.0 GPA with Clayton State University in order to remain eligible for funding. Sounds great. Now you want to know, where can you take these tuition-free college classes? Well, we offer classes at Clayton State University for dual enrolled students during the summer, spring, and fall semesters. We have several locations that you can choose from. Our Clayton County campus, which is our main campus in Morrow, Georgia. Our Henry County campus, which is in McDonough, Georgia. Our Fayette County campus, which is in Peachtree City as well as a, a full array of online classes. We also teach some college level courses in high schools. And so you would need to check with your high school counselor and ask if we are teaching any dual enrollment classes at your high school. In order to be considered for the dual enrollment program at Clayton State University, a student would have to complete the 10th grade or higher students must be a high school junior or senior upon enrollment into the classes. The students must also complete their participation and funding application on the Georgia Futures website. That's participation and funding for the dual enrollment program. And then students would have to meet our acceptance and admissions requirements, which we will talk about on the next slide. Clayton State has only three admissions requirements, so we make it very easy for students to uh, enroll in our college. First, of course, you're going to apply, so that's not listed here, but you're going to apply to attend our college, so complete our college application. After completing the co college application, the three steps are provide your high school transcript, and that high school transcript must reflect that you've completed the 10th grade or higher. Also, that high school transcript must reflect that you've earned a 3.0 GPA while in high school. And students must submit uh, test scores. And so currently we take the SAT, ACT, or ACCUPLACER. And listed here, you will see the test score requirements for each of those exams. The SAT is 480 for reading, 440 for math, with a composite score of 1050. The ACT is 17 reading, 17 math, with a composite score of 20. And the ACCUPLACER is a 237 reading, 260 math, and a four in writing. The ACCUPLACER exam is the exam that we sometimes offer at remote high schools. So also check with your high school counselor to see if we will be doing any testing on the ACCUPLACER exam at your high school. So now you ask, where do I start? Well, first you need to talk with your high school counselor, let them know that you're interested in the dual enrollment program. Second, you want to again, complete that application for admissions. So sometimes that can be confusing because our application for admissions is on the Georgia Futures website. There are two applications that you're going to complete on the Georgia Futures website. You're gonna complete our application for admissions and you will complete the application for dual enrollment funding. So be sure to complete two applications on the GA Futures website. And then also, again, you would submit your high school transcripts. That's where you get started. 
So the first step is see your guidance counselor. The second step is to apply to our college. And then the third is to get that transcript over to us as quickly as possible. Here's an example of what a Clayton State University schedule could look like for a high school student. Um, on average, we have 15 to 20 students in a class at most of our remote sites, and so it's very small class sizes. Students can take classes on either Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday, and that may be different if a student takes a class on our main campus. But typically, we offer Monday, Wednesday classes and Tuesday, Thursday classes. So as you can see here, the student is taking on Monday and Wednesday at 8.50 a math class. And on Tuesday and Thursday at 8.50, they're taking an English class. Those are two college courses. Now, if the student wants to continue and at 10.15 take two other classes on Monday and Wednesday, they could potentially take Econ. And on Tuesday and Thursday, they could take an American government class. So you see from this example, this student has four dual enrollment classes, which is the equivalent of 12 college credits. 12 college credits, four classes in this example. So this kind of shows you what you can expect from a dual enrollment college schedule. And as you may note, there, there are no classes that are offered on Fridays. And finally, our last slide, the contact information for Clayton State University. You can visit our website, which is listed at the bottom, www.clayton.edu. And you can also reach out to us via email. Our email addresses are listed there for each campus. If you do not see the county of your high school listed here, just contact us at the Henry County campus. We'll be happy to help you. Our contact information again is listed there. We have our main campus, which is located in Morrow, Georgia, our Fayette County campus, which is in Peachtree City, and our Henry County campus, which is in McDonough, Georgia. Thank you so much.